Turnbull second it forward looking for Danny Maguire the first chance to really try and put some pressure on the Altrincham defence Maguire wriggled away he's released Robbie Dale on the left hand side and the fans really responding to this he's in the area as he always does but he's across and it was cleared away very shambolically there by Marshall the centre back early drama here at Croft Park Spartans nearly taking the lead that was very dangerous yeah I thought that was going to go in there Ryan Dale just putting it straight into the six shot box we've got another chance here to put it in with Turnbull poor clearance certainly started brilliantly Robbie Dale whips that one in and it hits that it hits Reeves in the face he certainly felt that one and he skips away yeah. he's pulled down the penalty yeah. the referee points to the spot and Rice Spartans have the perfect chance to start on the right foot here with the goal he was tripped down there by number seven Laurie and there was absolutely no doubt about it there. The referee had to point at the spot. And Blyde Spartans with a golden opportunity to put themselves ahead. They've been on the front foot. We've been playing less than five minutes, but already they could have had two goals, you have to say. And now they've got a brilliant chance. Def definite penalty there on Robbie Dell. Just jinx pass. His man love, we've seen him do so many times. And uh, he brought him down. Pano. Dale steps up. Sends a keeper the right way. And Blyde Spartans have taken the lead against the side 48 league places above them this could be the start of a glorious cup upset here at Croft Park Robbie Dale captain fantastic he scored in every round he continues that tradition and Blythe Spartans 1-0 up here against Altrincham never in doubt there Robbie Dale no doubts about his fitness before but when he put that ball down on the spot he just knew it was going to end up in the back of the net and it's an incredible start for Blythe Spartans Nothing more than they deserve, really. They've been on the front foot right from the first second. Watson in acres of space on the left-hand side. I don't think he's been noticed. But Dale instead elects to whip it in. And there was a charge from Hutchinson. It's been spilled. It's gone over the keeper. Headed off the line by Marshall. Forster Maguire at the edge of the area. Fancy footwork. But it's a hooked Oh, and it was Hawkins with a brilliant strike deflected. It's been given the corner. Corner taken quickly by Rivers to find Robert Dale, edge of the area. Getting inside. Dangerously as he does, plays it back to Turnbull, who hits it, and it zipped across the turf, and wide for the keeper's goal. But Altrincham, when Spartans are pegging them back, they look very likely to score. But, uh, we, uh, we're glad to be with you now anyway. We apologise for those uh, technical issues we, we uh, had at the beginning of the game. Now, here come Altrincham whipping the ball in, and Jeffries, a bit of a mix-up between he and Buddle, and uh, he sent the centre-back tumbling there to Jeffries, but... Uh, Spartans fans relieved to see him with the ball in his hands. And it'll be picked up by goalkeeper Coburn, who's oh, <laughs> tried a bit of footwork and uh, nearly gifted it straight to Jarrah Rivers. And uh, that would have been embarrassing for him, and it would have been brilliant for Blythe Spartans. Headed back forward now. Altrincham trying to conjure up an attack, and it's played forward here with Richmond. Richmond, great ball through, and Reeves has got beyond the back line. He's got a shot away, and it's wide to Jeffries' post, and Peter Jeffries quite rightly is furious with his back four for letting Reeves in so easily. Yeah, I think uh, more than anything, Jeffries is uh, angry about the fact they're playing him on side because I think two of the men in that back line had stepped up and maybe Brian Hutchinson was uh, the one playing Reeves on. Just got a uh, thing, BBC Sport next to us, uh, talking about Robbie's goal in the opening minutes. And, uh, it really was a brilliant start for Spartans. Uh, they couldn't have imagined it to go any better, I don't think. And uh, they're doing well now here as well. Let's keep on the front foot. Twinkling through, and it was cut out in the end by Densmore. The Havens giving it away to Joe Rivers. He's got a chance here. He gets away from Marshall. He gets the shot away. Oh, Danny McGuire. It's offside anyway. It wouldn't have counted. Just going to get his foot to it. But a real mistake there by Jack with the Haven. The, the big centre back and almost gifting Joe Rivers a goal. What a brilliant chance that was for Rivers, and he wriggled away from his man uh, beyond the last defender and just had the keeper to beat, and it was a good save by Colburn. And in the end, it almost fell for Maguire, but great chance for Rivers. And uh, it's been an electric start here at Croft Park. Certainly another example of what Spartans are capable of doing here against Altrincham. And it's a slip there from Williams, giving Spartans a really good chance to break again here with Rivers on the left-hand side. He plays it inside to Wade and clipped it towards the goal, headed away by Jan Luca at the Haven. It's been a couple of occasions now where Spartans players have been held in the area. Yeah, especially Mally Wade as he was just then. Moments ago, he was just getting his arm tugged and uh, pulled back, and you 
think the referee, you know, would have thought about it. Here come Altrincham on the tack, with Laurie skipping away from Bodle. Gets the shot away, it's a great save by Jeffries. Of course the Dens ball here was offside, but uh, it was a heroic dive by Hutchinson to make sure it didn't end up in the net anyway. Altrincham nearly giving the ball to Robbie Dale in a good position, as it is there on the attack here with Williams. Spreads it across nicely to find Griffin on the left-hand side. He's not really had much chance to get into this one, and it shows as he just gives it all away. There's a very rash tackle. The referee goes straight to his pocket here, and he will give the yellow card. The Spartans players making sure that they provide solidarity for their injured player. That was a very rash challenge and a yellow card yeah. just deserves for it. Finds Turnbull. Turnbull, a lot of space to turn into, sends it down to Daniel Maguire, playing it to Wade. Wade, brilliant ball on the outside of his boot. Daniel Maguire is in here now, heading up the left-hand side of the area. Plays it across goal, and it's cut out in the end by Reeves, I think, getting back. There he is again, winning the ball back and finding Jordan Watson on the left-hand side in a bit of room. Watson plays it through the middle, Daniel Maguire under some pressure, he tripped and he still gets away from Haven and he's into the area now, just on the right-hand side. Gets away from Marshall, gets the shot away and you can't blame him for a good shot, although Robert Dale is suggesting he maybe could have pulled that back, but uh, after his effort, he slipped, he was on the deck, he managed to get a wriggle away from Gianluca Haven, cut into the area and just couldn't get the shot away on target. And uh, Spartans will make sure that they are as uneventful as possible, I'm sure. Richmond with the ball on the right-hand side. Dale and Watson putting in a shift to make sure that it doesn't get through. But it's back to Williams, who finds Marshall, who's come up from the back. Skips away from Dale, puts him on his backside, and he's had a cracking effort from 40 yards out. Comes back off the post, sent back in by Richmond. And, well, we're talking about Spartans wanting to keep this as uneventful as possible. Richmond... Coming up from the back there, sorry, uh, Marshall coming up from the back, Tom Marshall striking it with his left boot from all of 35, 40 yards out. Jeffrey's in no man's land, scrambling to get to it, and it smacks off his post. But Spartan's lucky to escape there, and Jeffrey's will take as much time as he possibly can for this goal kick. And uh, he's found Densmore on the right-hand side, who's whipped it in. Peter Jeffrey's dives on the ball, and that is that for the first half. Around Croft Park. With a sniff of a foul there, but it's really poor clearance. Going straight to Steve Turnbull on the edge of the area now. Cutting away from his man, gets the shot away, and it's straight to Coburn. Playing here, a long two with Wade. Wade didn't really know too much about it, it just ricocheted off him, but now Rivers cutting forward, and he's played in Danny Maguire. Danny Maguire trying to get away here from Gianluca Haven. Gianluca Haven standing his ground well though, Maguire turning, trying to send it to Robbie Dale, it's cleared away by Densmore, but only as far as Maguire, Maguire to Wade, Wade, lovely ball back inside, Maguire's in the penalty area, gets the shot! Yeah! Fantastic goal from Danny McGuire there. The work on the edge of the box was brilliant. And he just jinxed it inside to Manny Wade. And the, the flick ball from Matthew Wade's a brilliant one. Just plays it inside to the box. And McGuire still got two men on him, but beats them easily. He's uh, known for his free kick, Sean Densmore. And it is he who swings this one towards the goal. Peter Jeffrey is getting down to his right-hand side and beating it away. And now Hawkins trying to send it down the line. It's closed down by Densmore. And there's a throw-in. For Bly Spartans. Danny McGuire here on the edge of the area. Trying to tell it. Surely that's a foul. Tom Wade can't believe it. And the ball forward finds Kyle Perry, who sent a glorious effort over the top of Peter Jeffries. First time left for Bolly, but there was definitely an impediment there on Danny McGuire on the edge of the Ottringham area. And Bly Spartans have every right to feel aggrieved with that one. Yes. Just uh, to talk about the goal quickly as well, it was a wonderful ball over the. Well, Wonderful uh, clearance over the top, you might say, and Perry was uh, on it like a flash, and the finish was an expert finish from the big man up front, but as you say, surely Danny McGuire was fouled up there. 
Poor ball forward from Dixon allows Griffin in here. Griffin whips this one across and it falls to Kyle Perry. The back post back into the area and Hooks is there to calmly deal with it. And he clears clearance ricocheting off Griffin and Swans on a goal kick. Oh, by turning and hitting one. This is in the middle of oh, 30 yards out and uh, didn't seem like anything was on. He just turned, wrapped his boot around it and uh, could have gone anywhere and just over the bar in the end. It wasn't too far off. Seven minutes remaining. There or thereabouts and there will be some stoppage time. The likes of Turnbull's injury. But they're just taking that one out the air. Playing a sumptuous ball over to Bobby Dale and a nice space on that far left hand side. Skipping away from Hayden. It's the shot. Oh, yeah! It's Martin oh, oh, going to the second round of the FA Cup. What a goal by Robbie Vale. Good on Hayden. We've said all day that John Luca Hayden's welcomes a tall convincing. And Robbie Dale made Mintweed out of him there. Skipped away from him like he wasn't even there. And sent the ball into Colburn's bottom right hand corner. Colburn left flat footed. There was absolutely no way he was stopping that. Spartans continue in the FA Cup and what a glorious way to see it. It's Captain Fantastic Robbie Dale on the mark again. Well, what a moment. He's already scored today, Robbie Dale, but it wouldn't have been complete without a jinking run from that left-hand side. And a brilliant finish past the onlooking Colburn in goal. No chance. And, uh, he sends fans into the second round of the FA Cup. I, just, uh, I think the referee just went and told the fourth official that there's to be four minutes of added time and just lip read Tom Raid saying what's there four minutes for and he's right there hasn't really been too many stoppages in this game aside from a few little lovely fights. ball at the top of Walking to Danny McGuire could be in yeah it's second of the game Rock Park incredible raps into ecstasy and Daniel Maguire has given Spartans a 4-1 lead it's not just a win against the league opposition it's a thumping altering them who have no answer for why Spartans today Spartans are going into the hat with a second round draw and uh, this is everything they dreamt it would be on more. Yeah, what a great moment once again and you just see supporters over there with their, with their hands over their mouth. They can't quite believe what they're going on. They've been conference on Uchigan by four goals to one. And this will surely be it now. Eight seconds on the clock and as Hutchinson can turn and send it down the pitch. And that is that. Spartans continue this fantastic scintillating FA Cup run.